Hey, welcome to the show. We appreciate you being here today. You know, as Christians, we tend to lean towards giving grace when others may have done us wrong, or at least that's what we're supposed to do. But what about accountability? You know, we often hear grace referred to as unmerited favor. That's right. But but should there be a limit on how much we tolerate without consequences or boundaries? And we received uh, this question from a viewer on YouTube similar to this topic. So they asked, is there a time when too much grace can be given and is it possible to apply correction with grace? So it's a great question. And I feel like actually a lot of people kind of struggle with this. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts? I mean, it's hard to not, you know, first you got to start with our Lord in this whole equation, right? I mean, this question deals a lot of interpersonal relationships and Mm -hmm. parenting and marriage and all these things, work relationships. But I know in my life, I can't speak for you, Ashley, but Mm -hmm. in my wandering seasons from the Lord in which I was Mm -hmm. doing my own thing, loved God, but was not putting him first. And I made a lot of mistakes. There was a time when there were some real consequences to my actions and my thoughtlessness and I received great grace from the yeah. Lord. He was merciful. Yeah. But there was discipline. You know, Proverbs and Hebrews talks about the Lord disciplines those he loves. I felt I, I must have been loved because <laughs> I know he yeah. changed my track and mm. there were real consequences. Yeah. And um, I just think it starts there. You know, the Lord will direct your steps. There are, how did this person put it? Uh, correction with grace. The yeah. Lord corrects us, you know? Absolutely. Just like, I mean, you have kids. I, I don't yet, but I, I see my sister and even my own parents, how they parented me. It's like, you know, I think a lot of times we think of God's correction as him being really harsh. Mm-hmm. But do you think that about your own parents who might have disciplined you? A lot of times the boundaries and the corrections are because you yeah. love your children yeah. and you don't want them to say like, hey, they're by an oven. And they're not. Yeah. And they're like, hey, don't you're, you tell them as a as a discipline. Hey, don't go near the oven. Yeah. It's hot. You might burn yourself. And I think oftentimes we forget to have that perspective when it comes to God. When yeah, he's like, sure. hey, don't touch that. It might burn you. And this, this issue of correction, though, it's more dif- difficult in interpersonal relationships. And, you know, yeah. the, the church comes up in this topic as For well. Sure. It's, mm-hmm. you got to navigate things differently in all these different relationships. Yeah. And when it comes to interpersonal relationships, obviously, yes, if God has given us grace and forgiveness, we are called as his children to give grace and forgiveness at the same time. Um, you know, that doesn't mean you have to be a doormat. Boundaries are necessary. Absolutely. Um, We hear it a lot in different types of stories. Um, If you have a family member you love, you give them grace, you give them forgiveness. But if there's kind of like an unhealthy um, something or other happening, put a boundary in place. That means you don't always have to answer their beck and call. You're not their savior. God is, Jesus is, right? So lead them to the Father, lead them to Jesus, but obviously put a boundary in place for yourself. Yeah, and this person used the term correction with grace. I struggle with that. I struggle with this part of the question because mm. how do you correct a colleague, a friend, a family yeah. member? Correction, you know, parenting for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, for instance, the church, Ash and I, just for a moment before the show, we're chatting yeah. about church correction and things. I was reading a devotional recently by a gentleman who talked about when he sinned, he was in a marital relationship. I mean, he, he was married, and then yeah. there was an emotional relationship going on on the side, and okay. the church had him stand up in front of three services of a yeah. few hundred people in each mm-hmm. and give an account for this, which actually was very damaging because... Wow. You know, to stand up in front of a hundreds and hundreds of people and admit your sin. This person mm-hmm. was not in leadership at the church, but okay. sometimes this idea of correction goes way overboard. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you know, we can't really correct our spouse, correct mm-hmm. our friend, but mm-hmm. certainly boundaries is the is what we need to set up. Yeah, and I think an even broader um, aspect of this question is like grace and truth. You know, there's a lot of churches that are, you know, people will say they're hyper grace, but they're not enough truth. They're not enough. Hey, this is what the Word of God says, so don't do that. It's a lot more of like, oh, well, God will forgive you. You need both, right? And then you have other churches that are like all about like hellfire and brimstone. If you don't do this right, you're going straight to hell. And it's like, well, there's grace. God has grace too. So I think there's levels to this topic for sure. And I mean, we could keep going, but we simply just don't have enough time. If I could mention, you talked about parenting earlier and that you're not a parent yet, but I have three kids. And I I think one thing parents struggle with today, I get the sense of a lot of parents want to be real good friends with their kids. And of Mm. course you want to a strong, loving relationship, obviously, but we're not doing our children any favors if we're not correcting or Mm -hmm. changing their course or pointing out things that are going to be damaging to them. We as parents have to realize, like, I think looking back, children wish sometimes their parents had been maybe harder on them. I have heard that. I really have. Uh, Yeah. I got that. Mm, I mean, just I look back at things and I say, oh, I wish I'd 
gotten a little more correction mm -hmm. in that type yeah. of situation. So correction in different circumstances. Maybe it would have saved me. All the, maybe it would have saved me those wandering years. I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But I hope that helps you. And yes, grace and truth and boundaries are good things. So I mm -hmm. hope that answers your question and helps you a little bit. But if you guys would like to ask us a question or give us a topic to talk about on the show, like we just did, make sure you visit our social media pages and look for our posts on different platforms such as Facebook and Instagram at 700 Club Interactive. And make sure you visit our YouTube page for extended interviews and stories and clips like this to share with your friends and family. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.